Hi there and welcome back to how to use ANA2. In this video we're going to take a look at the filters. So in ANA2 the filters are set up pretty much the same as ANA1 but we've added a few extra features to help make them much better. So um, we have velocity and key track here um, so you can instantly assign the filter to a the key velocity. So the harder you press the filter opens up. Um, and we've got a whole bunch of new types. So we've got um, Rolly filter based on a sort of Japanese um, popular synth manufacturers filters. We've got the Moogie or the Moogie and what way you want to say that and a corgi it's a two pole filter the rest there were four pole it's got interesting sort of distorted resonant characteristics we got an EMS VC S3 very squelchy and resonant filter and an Uber. It's quite a stable, sort of not quite as resonant as the top two here. And then we have a bunch of other sort of basic filters, standard low pass 6, 12, and ones with T on them have saturation built in. And then we have these vial filters. <coughs> And these all do sort of something similar, but they're just sort of different flavors. And then we have phase filters. Some of them are the resonance can be quite extreme. Yeah. You can get some really nice sort of deep bass tones with the phase filters. Yeah. Sort of scooped sounds. Um, and then we have all the original filters from Anna 1. And we've updated those as well with some uh, new all pass filters. can give you like a super boxy type sound. Some cool vibes there. And we've also added a filter drive control. So that's just some modeled tube drive. go quite extreme on that um, and I'll explain how the sort of the two filters are organized uh, we have our series and parallel button so the fil filters can either um, start with filter 1 and then the signal of filter 1 passes into filter 2 or in parallel mode they are both independent and this means you can for example send one oscillator to filter 1 and one oscillator to filter 2 and have two different filters on each one. So you can get quite creative there. And we have our filter envelope control which is directly linked to our filter envelope uh, ADSR. And we'll talk more in the next video about our ADSRs. So there we go. I think that's pretty much it for the filters. Um, 
they just sound really good. I'm really impressed with the uh, this sort of top section of analog model filters. You get some really super good sounds. Um, so in the next one, we'll take a look at the envelopes. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting, and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.